and the founder and senior pastor of New Spirit Revival Center, Daryl Scott, a Donald Trump supporter. Pastor Scott, let me start with you uh, right there at the end of Jeff Zeleny's report. Uh, you know, you heard the cheers. And, and it's a good thing to remind people that President Obama is the only other politician in modern times who can draw crowds and inspire voters like Donald Trump. In 2008, President Obama won the independence. Trump is now courting. He got the crowds. He inspired and motivated millions. He's now slamming Donald Trump. Could it hurt Trump? I don't think it can necessarily hurt Trump. In 2008, President Obama was a worldwide cultural phenomena. I mean, he swept across the globe. He was handsome, charming, sophisticated, gracious. And, you know, as we say in the African-American community, he was very, very cool. He was a cultural phenomenon, much like Michael Jackson's Thriller in 1982. Michael was a cultural phenomenon. But after that, after Thriller, Michael never could achieve that pinnacle of success. And the enthusiasm for President Obama has dissipated somewhat. He can't hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign, but he won't do much to enhance it. And Hillary herself is boring. She doesn't arouse passion or she doesn't elicit excitement. And so he will probably, you know, it was a given. Everybody expected him to endorse her anyway. So Fair. It's, 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 no big, it's no big deal for him to come out on her behalf. And he's been, you know, he said things I, I heard on the clip where he said that um, Mr. Trump used vulgarity and that he alluded to vulgarity. But I remember them asking Mr. Uh, Obama, President Obama, they said, do you have a bucket list since this is your last rodeo as president? Do you have a bucket list? He said, no, I don't have a bucket list, but I have a list that rhymes with bucket. Now, you use your imagination. And if Donald Trump had said that, they would have been saying how he alluded to something vulgar or, or, or whatever. But Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Obama said it, and we all heard it. Maria? <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no comparison. First of all, President Obama said that at a White House correspondence dinner during a roast. They aired it secondly, all over the, secondly, all the secondly, 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 uh, Trump would never allude to anything. He would actually <laughs> say it the way that he well, has no, no, these no. past you few months. You you Pastor, let me finish. I didn't interrupt his, you. Pastor, I did not interrupt you. Let, 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 let Maria my finish, bad, Pastor, my please. Bad, my bad. My bad. Let, my let's, bad. Re let's remember our manners. Thank you. Yep. Uh, and secondly, yes, Trump has been vulgar. He doesn't just allude to vulgarity. He says the words. And look, absolutely, President Obama will help Hillary Clinton. We all talk about how she needs, if she's going to be the nominee, she will need the Obama coalition to come out for her in record numbers. Well, who better to mobilize and energize and excite the Obama coalition than Obama himself? He's incredibly popular with African Americans, incredibly popular with Latinos, with women, with the LGBT community, with everyone who knows that having Donald Trump at the helm as the president of the United States is an incredibly scary thought, and they will do everything in their power so, to come out in droves, so and that's Pastor exactly what will happen. Donald Trump Trump is the one, let's just remember, who forced President Obama to release his long-form birth certificate, right? This is personal for Barack Obama. Jokes aside, he seriously mm -hmm. and personally dislikes Donald Trump. He has been mocking Donald Trump ever since this quote-unquote birther issue started. Here's a clip. Just recently, in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice, <laughs> you didn't blame Little John or Meatloaf. <laughs> you fired Gary Busey. And these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. I have a lot of faith in the American people. And I think they recognize that being president is a serious job. It's not hosting a talk show or a reality show. I mean, Pastor, when you look at it this way, you look at his approval ratings, uh, okay, they could be better, but it's 51% overall. That's Democrats and Republicans. It's the highest it's been for Barack Obama in three years. Uh, do you at least believe he's a formidable adversary if he hit the campaign trail aggressively against Donald Trump? If he was running for a third term, he'd be a formidable adversary. But hmm. because it's Hillary Clinton, I mean, his influence to me will be minimal. What people fail to realize is that Donald Trump did not introduce the birther issue. The introduction of the birther issue came from Hillary Clinton's camp when she was running against Mr. Obama. And she liberally played the race card when she was running against him as well. Donald Trump simply picked up on what Hillary Clinton introduced in her 2008 and 2012 campaign against Mr. Obama. We conveniently 
willingly or we, we selectively we have amnesia as far as that's concerned. Ma Maria, it doesn't matter. Yeah. She introduced it. Maria, she no, introduced she it and she never though, conceded it. There is something about these two men, Maria, that's kind of amazing about how much they have in common. And both of them would probably say that is a horrible thing. How could you say it? But anyway, they both battled and are battling in the case of Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, right? That was their right. chief adversary. They <laughs> right. love their crowds. They attract yeah. crowds. They know right. how to play to those crowds. Here they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yep. I hope you'll accept my apology, accept and I just want to give you the opportunity. Is there anybody you'd like to apologize to right now yourself? Uh, no. No? No Maybe one, the audience. No one How to about apologize at all. Okay. No, no, let's no apology. I don't text. I email. Uh, I still have a Blackberry because I can't, uh, I, 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 uh... <laughs> one guy has a Blackberry. <laughs> the one old guy there, look at him. <laughs> he's, he's my age. Right. Maria, there are moments where they both can be rather likable yes. and they can both have a sense of humor. People gravitate towards them in a way that they don't to anyone else. Well, I think if you compare likability between President Obama and Donald Trump, President Obama just wipes the floor with him. But I will say this. If Hillary Clinton is a nominee and Trump is a nominee, it is going to be an incredibly ugly, divisive, it will be utterly misogynistic. So she is going to need all the help she can get. And I think having President Obama in her corner will be a formidable uh, way to dampen and, and combat all of that incredibly ugly, divisive rhetoric. Plus, given the fact that she herself is very popular with the Obama right. coalition right now, I right. think it'll be a winning combination. All right, thank you both very much. And out front next, Donald Trump preparing for a major foreign policy speech. Will he sound like a commander in chief? And the FBI investigating tonight a suspicious letter with white powder sent to Donald Trump's son. The latest on that next.